How's it going guys? Today we're going to be talking about if Instacart is possibly trying to kill the Costco drop. Now just a, a quick little summary of what the Costco drop is. Whenever they open every day at around like 10 a.m. for me, there are a bunch of big orders that drop onto your screen and you guys have basically the best selection of batches all day right there in that moment. The problem with this is Instacart is noticing that a lot of people like to stick to these nice stores. They don't want to do these small orders at like other grocery stores. They just want to stay at Costco or BJ's or some other warehouse type store. So Instacart is playing some games with us right now. They recently had this update where you have two stores that you could shop for one customer. And uh, this is cool for Instacart because first of all, they don't have to pay two separate shoppers to go do the orders. So it's able to save Instacart some money and we're basically able to work for less whenever you guys do two stores, you just get paid for the miles. Pretty sure there's no double base pay, it's just you get one base pay and the extra miles added on. Sometimes these orders are good, sometimes they're not, but the problem that I've noticed is the majority of these orders are actually paired with Costco orders. And I think they're doing this on purpose because no one wants to take those small orders. They have to combine them with an order that someone does wanna take for them to actually get done. They're trying to decrease the wait time for customers and this is just one of their ways. But lately I've been noticing that the majority of my Costco drop are these double orders where you have to go to Costco and then say Sam's Club or go to Costco and 7-Eleven. I'm gonna pop some of the ones up right now. These are mostly ones I saw today and then some others in the past. This is a problem because people shop at Costco for a reason. If it's really busy, it's just easier to get around the store. The aisles are bigger. And sometimes people don't wanna shop at a 7-Eleven because they're usually out of a lot of stock. And sometimes people don't wanna shop at a certain store because of low stock and maybe their Costco is actually really good at keeping things in stock so our tips aren't going down all the time. These are just a few reasons why only doing Costco orders is nice, but now that they're combining them with these other orders, it's just making it less and less appealing and it's getting people like me to take these batches that we would normally never do just because we have to make money, so we have to take some orders that might not be as nice as they used to be. They already made it so you guys have to be in the parking lot, so that is one way it's harder to do the Costco drop. It used to be that if you lived nearby, you could just wake up, see if there's anything nice on the Costco drop, and if there wasn't, just go back to bed. If there was, just go out, start your day. But things are changing and changing, and Instacart really is trying to put a stop to the people like me that just camp out in Costco parking lots all day. I'll admit, I still do other store orders, but they have to be low miles. Right now at the gas prices, mileage is key, and trying to keep the miles down while making some money is very important. So yeah, I'd be interested in what you guys think about this, and if you think that this is them trying to get rid of the Costco drop, trying to make it even harder for us to make good money. With that being said, here's a quick recap of my day. Alright, so I just got home. There is a huge storm on my way back to my last delivery, which was like 20 or 30 miles like away from the store. So that was a lot of fun. We ended up making $210. $5 of that is a cash tip. So that's why it's not showing up on the app. We worked about eight hours today. So if you guys break it all down, we made just around $26 an hour, which is pretty great. That's like right on target for my average. Overall, pretty great day. I'm still not even out of five-star rating, but we're still able to make some money. Tomorrow I'm taking an off day and yeah, hopefully you guys had a good day. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys drop a like down below and consider subscribing for a lot more content like this. I know the video is a little different than normal, so hopefully it was still all right. If you guys really enjoyed this style, feel free to let me know. Anyways, good luck tomorrow guys and have a good one.